Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Maxim again, and I want to talk about formations. So there is actually two meanings of formations, and I will just uh, quickly show the second one, which is not the main one that this is going to be about. So you can set for, uh, set formations for sending your units in the war hall, that you, it becomes available on level 10, but on level 10 you only have one available. Then in the second one, the third and fourth one are on 20, 40, 60 I believe. Basically, you can set it up that, for instance, I have two as my main damage march, one at the moment is my main farming march, and three and four are for dark armies. And, you know, you can also set up defense here, so you can set your defense, and save it and stuff, and then you have, uh, including the formation, the actual formation that I'm going to be talking about in a moment. And you can set up uh, like the order in which your units are going to be defending and so on. You can set up formations here as well, but they seem to not want to save actually for some reason. So, yeah, about that. I wonder. Uh, okay, they did save now. But yeah, this probably cost me something for last uh, individual defense because I actually didn't know that I can set it up here. Maybe it wasn't uh, possible back then. It's also possible that it wasn't uh, available yet a month ago. At any rate, uh, this is actually something that I'm going to talk about way more in the individual defense video that I'm going to be making tomorrow, because we actually have individual defense now and it's about to end. And now I'm going to go back to the formation center building. So this building, formation center, becomes available on level 50. And uh, basically, uh, when they first introduced it, it only had the assault formation, which uh, on level 1, it increases the attack of your units on 1, 2 and 3 by a little bit, by like 20%, I believe. Then it, you know, goes up by like 20, 40, 60 or something like that. Uh, I think it's actually 20% every level. And then at some point uh, on like maybe level 3 or 4, it adds extra extra attack to unit number 5 as well, to the mid middle one. And uh, then you have uh, the second formation, fortified formation, which uh, increases the HP of your front row units. Uh, however, it also reduces their damage when you will uh, increase it to higher levels. And as you can see uh, later on, when if you max it out, it's actually going to reduce your damage uh, of your front row units. And, you know, uh, it's going to reduce the damage of your front row units by 30%. And it will, it will increase the damage of your... Uh, like uh, units in the back and it will actually increase damage taken by the units in the back so it's gonna be pretty we pretty wild you know if you look at this like basically a negative damage decrease means that it's gonna be like increased actually i think or maybe not um i'm not 100 yeah it is that way yeah so basically when it's a negative damage increase it means that it's gonna lower your damage when it's a negative damage decrease it's gonna increase your damage taken actually so that's one thing. However, it is almost impossible to get these formations right now, the orange manuals for fortified. So I already had one or two from some event, I think. So I actually, the level I'm on already used one, I think. Like level three maybe uh, used it or level four, I'm not sure. And let's skip over this one for now because it's not, not really possible to upgrade it much. And let's go back to the assault formation. So the assault formation, as I said, it at first increases the attack of your units. It is, this is important because it's actually an additive modifier, it's not multiplicative. So that means that it will it will add this uh, attack on top of your, like, it either goes to your type attack, to like naval attack, or it's to all units attack, uh, all, attacks, all units attack, but I do believe it, it goes to the type attack, like navy attack. Because uh, I've tried it before and uh, when I increased my formation by a level, it increased uh, the attack by 20%. However, the damage almost didn't improve at all. I will actually test this later in the video because I have saved an upgrade for this video. I have actually been saving this upgrade for a few days so I can make this video. So I'm going to show you that at the end of the video. And uh, I will go more into the maths about this and uh, I'm going to explain why it's so important. So basically... Uh, because it's additive, it, uh, for instance, if I had plus 400% navy attack, which is actually kind of what I do, that means that my total navy attack is 500%, and if the formation uh, actually worked mul multiplicatively, it would mean that uh, instead of having like a 500% total attack, um, the, with the increase it would be 1.2000% attack, you know, so that would be a lot. 
However, it's actually additive. So instead of uh, one point two thousand, it's six hundred forty. It's five hundred plus, hundred forty percent. Not you know, multiplied by two point four. If you know what I mean. So that's kind of important. However, the damage increase uh, that the unit two has uh, is multiplicative. Uh, at least in the you know uh, in the way that uh, damage increase in general is multiplicative. And uh, so it increases the, the damage increase modifier and I'm actually not sure and I cannot show it now uh, by how much it's gonna actually increase the real damage. So I can uh, I can show like my stats at the moment. So at the moment I do have around uh, you know 400% uh, navy attack and around 70% total attack. So we can actually see in a moment what it's gonna do with the mm, stuff, you know. And I have navy damage, which is uh, I don't know where it is right now. Navy damage, navy damage, damage increase. What is it? Navy damage increase 40%. However, I not at the level where the damage increase of uh, unit number two is going to increase. So we will not be able to test that. So, uh, uh, when it goes for these upgrades, uh, so you are going to need the formation 101s, those are the basic ones that will be used for every formation, and then you have the orange formation manuals. The orange formation manuals for assault are available in different places, I'm going to show you in a moment where, uh, but you only need them for some of the levels. So, for instance, you needed it for level 5, I believe you needed, I don't know how many exactly, I cannot show you right now because uh, it doesn't let you show the previous or the next levels, and I've already done it before. So that's, you know, one thing to keep in mind, but uh, you don't need them as much. And also basically they, they aren't that high in value because they are not that hard to get right now, apparently, actually. So I'm going to show you the, the main uh, sources of these. So basically here you can buy two formation 101s every day, uh, which are basically for free. They are very simple to get here. And then you have them in like uh, many different uh, events so for instance right now sorry um, wrong event so for instance right now in the flippy cards which are ending uh, they are in the first deck for example then they were in they were in some other events as well and uh, let me show you so they were for example in the blessing clover which ended uh, a few days ago and you could get 10 of them and you could get them in here as well in the vein miner. I do not have a screenshot showing them, but they were there. I'm sure about it. And there, the main thing is actually was actually in the baking mastery. So in the baking mastery, you could get uh, you could get ten a day for a pretty cheap. So that was pretty good. I think it was ten. Maybe it was even thirty, but I think it was ten. So yeah, that's you know something to keep in mind. And you can currently get them in multiple. You can get them uh, basically anytime you want in some other places as well. I'll just have to access them. So you can get them in the VIP store for 40 gems each. I would uh, not, I'm not going to buy it because for me, as you saw the next level, actually the level I am on or they wanted 200. So it would cost me an insane amount. It would cost me, okay, it actually, yeah, you can get a hundred of them. So it would cost me like 8,000 gems to get it upgraded. However, if you are in the first levels, if you just reach level 50 and you just open this, uh, I would definitely buy some, I guess, but um, probably buy it when there is a gem gift or some other event which will, uh, wants you to spend gems. So, you know, you use it, uh, spend the gems at the right time. So another way that you can get them is actually in the Legion, oh, sorry, the Legion store already showed it. Uh, you cannot get them in Expedition store and where I want to get is the SVS store. Uh, here you cannot get them either. But in SVS store, you can buy them here. You can buy 10 times a day. You can access the SVS store through the shopping center, as I just showed you, any time of the week, even when there is no SVS currently. And you can get one formation manual assault every day. And basically, you can get this at the cost of 12 of these. So as you see, they are not that big a deal. If you like count this in the ratio, it basically means that um, the level I'm on needs 200 of these and 120 worth of these. So that's something to keep in mind and now I am just going to show you the actual difference. I'm going to hit the Dark Army and I'm going to hit it with my like main march, okay? Oh, I can do that for some reason. Uh, I have no idea why but my Amalia is somewhere. Wait a moment. 
Okay, so I accidentally sent my uh, Dark Forces farming march to uh, resource tile instead of uh, Dark Forces. So that was my bad. Uh, it was actually earlier. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, uh, so I'm just going to hit uh, a Dark Army with my main march, just to show it. And um, maybe I should have actually picked a dark, dark Navy, I guess. So there would be no suppression to modify things. But yeah, let's just, uh, no, I'm gonna go do it on Dark Army because Dark Army is, you know, the type that the war boss is as well and so on. So let's just hit it with my main march. So it should take only, oh, I hit it five, five times, okay. But yeah, I'm going to do the one fight and then I'm going to cancel it. So we'll show, we'll see it, okay. So it's not gonna take four minutes. So this, it gave me back the uh, vitality for the four attacks that I just cancelled. And we are going to check it. Sorry, not attributes. We are going to check it right now, and you can see that the first shot is 75.5 billion. The second, the second one is going to be more because it's the one with the biggest bonus from formation. Okay, 79.9, and we are now going to go back to base. Go and go back to base. Do the upgrade. So, and we can check what the next level is gonna be. It's gonna be just you know 20% more, uh, no damage increase change, no added fourth or sixth uh, spot, which is kind of sad, but whatever. And it's gonna cost only the purple ones. So you can see you are going to need way more purple ones, uh, worth at least like than uh, as many. You know what I mean? Basically, you are gonna need. They are uh, the orange one costs uh, about twelve times more than the purple ones, but you need less than twenty times more of them. You need way less than twenty uh, ten, twelve times more of them. So we are just gonna go and we are going to hit another uh, another one of these. And uh, I don't remember the number now, but you will be able to see it. You'll be able to check it back if you want to. But I think it was 75 and 79, right? 75.9 and 79.9 or something like that. Billion. I can actually check it, right? I can check it easily. So let's check it. Oh, okay, it was a crit. Hmm. Yeah, it's 111 now. But was that a crit as well, maybe? What? That was kind of weird, actually. Oh, it was because the it the, the secondary targets died, so it was it hitting only one enemy basically. So yeah, but yeah, you you are gonna be able to check it. So, or well, I'm actually gonna be able to check it as well. I'll just have to replay it again. So the first shot and the, then that one was great and seventy six point six. Okay, seventy six point six, and the previous one was seventy five point five. So you, as you can see, the damage only increased by one point. Uh, 1.1 million, 1 .1 billion, which is like a little bit more than 1%. The actual damage increased by like 1.5% or something like that. Maybe a little bit more, I would have to do the math and, you know, I would have to pause the recording again and do the math, but it's something like 1.5%. So yeah, you now you know uh, about the formations, where you can get them, and um, that's about it. And you can, you know, you you can always check, you can always check the events for which ones are giving you the formations. And uh, as I said, though, like the orange ones aren't that important unless you're actually stuck on needing them. But you can buy them from the SVS o over time, and uh, they are also in the vein miner event and so on. Um, so you know. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, like and subscribe, and uh, you know, until next time. I hope this helps you. Goodbye.